Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. Today we're going to talk about the MSI Z270 Camo Squad motherboard. It's a bit of an older motherboard. Uh, it's a Z270, so it'll take a KB Lake or a Skylake processor. I happen to have a Skylake processor sitting around. I thought, you know what, why not put it to use? So we're going to talk about this motherboard. Okay, so before we get it out of the box, let's go over a few of the features. Okay, first off, it has DDR4 Boost. I'll just turn this around so you can see the back of the box and you can see all these features there and you can just stop and zoom in if you want just have a look at them but basically the main features are it has DDR4 boost for your DDR4 memory performance boost uh, it's ready, VR ready uh, has twin turbo M.2 with steel armor uh, Intel Optane memory ready and it has lightning USB 3.1 gen 2 has audio boost Gaming LAN with LAN Protect. Uh, has Guard Pro, which is the latest evolution in high quality components for best protection and efficiency. It has multi GPU with Steel Armor PCIe slots, and we'll see that in a second, which supports AMD Crossfire. Now, just a note that it will take an NVIDIA graphics card, but you cannot run two in SLI. It's just the configuration of the motherboard. All right, so let's get this out of the box. Okay, so we're just going to pull this up. We'll have a look at that in just one second. Let's see what else comes in the bottom of the box. Okay, because you always have all your little features here. So you've got your back plate, all right, IO shield, whatever you want to call it. You got two SATA cables, and of course, you have your disc for your drivers and all that kind of good stuff. Now, a recommendation. Use the network driver to get it started so you can do your downloads. Uh, and the rest of them download. You, uh, you can start with this, which I usually do. But don't forget to go online and update all your drivers afterward to the most recent drivers. Okay, then we just have a little uh, thank you for choosing an MSI product. And go, uh, just more stuff for advertising other products that they have. And of course, a quick insulation guide. Shows you all your, how to set everything up, and of course, your manual. All right, then we'll go through all that. And that's pretty much all that's in the box. Nothing else. And we don't need any of that right now, so I'm just gonna toss it all back in here and get to what matters. Which, of course, is the motherboard itself. So while it's in the bag, okay, of course, you've got uh, protection. So that's why I put it on top of here after I get it out of the, the packaging. And here we have our first look. Okay, so some of the main features, like I said before, to keep in mind, is this uh, motherboard will support 6th and 7th gen Intel Core i3, i5, and i7 processors, and a Intel Pentium and Celeron processors. The socket is an LGA 1151. Okay, you've got your three PCIe 1 slots on the motherboard. You've got your steel reinforced PCIe times 16 slot, and you've got room for two more graphics cards. You've got your four DDR4 four DIMM slots running in... Uh, Dual channel. Now it runs DDR4 up to 3800 overclocked. All right. And you have six SATA ports. Okay, they're all back here. And you have two M.2 slots. So you've got one here and one here. You can run it uh, in rate 0, 1, 5, or 10. And it has two USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A plus C. And you've got six USB 2.0 slots. The LAN is an Intel 1219V Gigabyte LAN and the audio has a 7.1 channel high def audio and it's an ATX form factor motherboard. Okay, so when we look at the motherboard, of course, some of the things to keep in mind is you have four system fans, you have your CPU fan, which is up here, you've got your heat sinks, um, your steel reinforced um, PCIe slot, 
and of course room for more graphics cards on the side. You got your dedicated audio um, slots here to uh, give you better audio boost. You've got your 8 pin power connector here and your 24 pin over here and that's where your USB 3.1 connector is over there. Okay, so getting a closer look at the back of your motherboard, you've got your PS2 type connector here, you get two USB 2.0 connectors here, you've got your DVI-D connector, and more USB ports, and of course a HDMI, and your one here is your Intel Gigabyte LAN port, your HD audio connectors, along with your Swift, and if you're running VR, these ones here on the bottom, these two USB, are your VR-ready uh, ports that they are designated to be used for that. And of course you have two more here on the top as well. Okay, so we'll have a look at the other side of the motherboard. For those that want to configure your USB 3.1 differently, you have one here, so it goes in this way, and one that goes in from the side. So depending on how you're doing your build, that's a, it's a nice option to have a couple of those on there. And you have your six SATA 3 connectors here. So uh, we'll get a quick look at the bottom of the motherboard, just in case uh, anybody out there is interested in seeing that. So here we go, we'll just set her down here just to give you a quick view of what it looks like. We'll just move that a little bit. All right, so that's the bottom of the motherboard, what it looks like. Nothing special. You can see you've got your holes here for mounting your different uh, CPU coolers. Other than that, nothing spectacular. Okay, so we'll just give you one last look at the motherboard here. Up a little bit closer just so you can see where everything is at. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so just going across the board here one more time. On the bottom here we have our, where your audio is going to connect. This is your RGB connector for your uh, LEDs. So you can control it with the Mystic Light app. And you can even uh, get the app for your cell phone and control it from there. Of course we have a system fan here. Now this is a parallel uh, LPT1 connector. I'm not sure what you'd be using that for today, but if you wanted to you could and you've got three USB uh, your uh, Jumper uh, panel 2 and panel 1 and another system fan connector So basically what those are is one of them is going to be connecting your um, fans and your connections from your case To the motherboard so you can see it. Sorry. I know it's bouncing around here a little bit. Sorry about that so if you want to know more about what the connections are on the motherboard, let me know. I can uh, give you more detail on that. I just kind of went over them real quick. Um, if you need anything at all or you have any questions, let me know on this and I'll get back to you. Okay, so the reason I chose that motherboard was because I had this processor, which is a G3900 uh, 1151 socket, which is what the motherboard will accommodate. It's a Skylake processor. And I thought instead of just leaving this lay around, uh, because the reason I bought this was to uh, upgrade a motherboard to the, the uh, Cable Lake BIOS, which you couldn't do unless you had the Skylake processor. So, since I'm probably not going to do that again, I'm also taking advantage of this processor, put it into another system, and play with it. Uh, do whatever I want. Um, because you can game on this. There's lots of reviews out there on this processor, and you can game pretty decently on it. Now, there's other motherboards like that around that are maybe cheaper um, you don't need all those features so if you want to streamline and just make an even uh, cheaper budget build maybe you can go ahead and do that so anyway if you like this video uh, consider subscribing uh, if you want to support me I have a PayPal link on my channel not required but it's just putting that out there if you want to donate um, and leave me a like leave me a dislike leave me a comment let me know you've been here and what you think of the product. Um, again, it's a bit of an older product, but they're still selling a lot of 270 motherboards out there because they're KB Lake processors and people are still buying them. So even though it's a bit older, still a very viable product and looks pretty decent to me. I'll find out once I actually have a computer build with it in it, which I'll bring that to you in another video as well, along with a CPU cooler that's going to be coming up. So we'll do two or three more on that, kind of getting back to where I started from before here. More on the tech side of things and a little bit more away from the gaming. Although I'll still probably do the gaming because I enjoy doing that. So let's cut this off before I ramble too much. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Oh, and don't forget to hit that little bell for the notifications if you want to see more.
Thanks.